Hi everyone, it is Fitz with your daily delivery. Hope you're doing well. I am very good. A little bit confused right now, but very good. It is NCAA tournament time. It is the NCAA tournament on the women's side coming to Manhattan, Kansas for first and second round sides. It's a big deal. We should all be talking about it, but not the university president. He's still talking about old stuff. I'll get into that a little bit right after your reminder. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit the thumbs up. Leave those comments. I have a feeling there's going to be a few on this one. I am not going to rehash, at least at this time, everything that went on with the Naquan Tomlin situation. And I have other information, pretty damning information, but I don't want to distract from the actual athletics taking place. And you would think that the university president would probably realize taking a giant crap on athletics the day before it plays host to the NCAA tournament is ill-advised. But he did. A story in the Manhattan Mercury that came out online on Thursday should be in print editions on Friday, I think. Basically covers old ground. Doesn't really say anything new. It just offers him an opportunity to say he was right when most of us know he wasn't. But that's not the purpose of this. The purpose is, of this is trying to avoid outside distractions. You're about to play a huge game, and now your own university president is digging up a negative thing about his own university. Uh, let's keep in mind, too, that the transfer portal is open, and this is a sign that the basketball staff doesn't have the support of its university president, which is bad for business. And it's also bad for retaining coaches. And I don't know if there's going to be a coaching change now, but nothing will surprise me. This thing was dead. This, we'd all moved on. And while there were still bitter feelings and things that hadn't been said, we decided not to say them. But he couldn't stop himself. My friend John Kurtz noted that following the university's own statement that said we will have no further comment on this, Richard Linton has commented three more times. That's a lack of self-control. That's, that's a need to be right, even if you're wrong. That you bend the facts to your needs and wants, it makes it right. K-State women will play host to Portland on Friday afternoon in one of the first games of the women's tournament this season. It's a big moment. But here I am talking about this bull****. And I'm sick of it. I, I, something needs to be done, and I'm going to wait. I'm going to let my head calm down a little bit before I decide if I want to say the rest. And I'll say the rest when it doesn't have an impact on the athletics department in a negative way. My God, move on, man. Grow up.